welcome back. Girl, this light is chewing it. She's bright as Welcome back to the Black Book. It's time to turn a new page, gentlemen. Today we're going to be discussing ties. Ties are not only a big trend this season, but gentlemen, we've been wearing them for years. And I feel like it's a great way to add personality and character to your suiting and to the work world. It sets you apart. It's a conversation starter. So what I'm going to bring to you today are three different knots that I utilize and that I wear to add a little bit of oomph to my outfit for the day. I will be tying each knot in front of you, but I'll be posting links to each knot so that you can see how to tie them on your own. So let's get started. It's one of my favorite knots. Um, I think it has a lot of personality, a lot of oomph, and you know I said it, stated it before the previous video, I love a big full knot. So you still get that big full knot, but it adds a little bit more personality. Um, I began wearing this knot when I was work when I started working at Cheesecake Factory. We were all white, and the only way we were able to show personality were through our ties. And one of my coworkers would wear it. This, this is the only way he wore his tie, and I thought it was so dope, you know. And I love. I always was wondering, well, how he got the two tone pattern going on. So it's because of the choice of tie he uses. He uses Tommy Hilfiger ties. So Tommy Hilfiger ties, as you can see right here majority of the time he does a double-sided pattern tie so the bigger end would always be one pattern and the smaller end would be different um, and when you look at the link you utilize this end to tie the knot so this is what it is and so I thought that was really fascinating because then it's like it says it's a conversation starter you know it sets you apart from the crowd people want to know more uh, people want to know more about the tie and now people want to know more about you um, and I think it's a little fashionable where it's more fashionable so great way to add personality and character to your suiting and it's one of my go-to knots I'm either doing a double Windsor or this one the other two I'm not I don't really use them or wear them but I want to try them out to be something new because they're something really fascinating so that's all right so knot. this okay. is the trinity knot um upon doing the knot i realized that this wasn't the best tie to use it because of the fabric in comparison to the other tommy hill figure uh tie i had the fabric's much thicker so the knot stood out more but i just still opted in using it just so you can see what i meant by the personality this is the trinity knot i think it's i call it the baby eldritch knot Almost the same concept, you're gonna use the thinner part of the tie. Um, you can't really tell, but it's three parts here. It looks like it's going like this, like a windmill, and that's why it's called the Trinity Knot. Um, but this is a great way to add personality and character in the office. Um, this is a Christmas tie, so in the holiday season, the base of the tie is green with reindeers on it, and then the thin side is navy blue with white polka dots. I'm pretty sure you can see if, if you just have a regular suit on and you throw this on with Christmas socks, that you could be the talk of the office because it's something different. It's, it's different than your double Windsor. It adds personality, it's like whimsical, it's fun. So I really do love it. Um, if you want a smaller knot, then I will go with the Trinity, but if you like a thicker boss like knot that I call it, go with the Eldridge. Either way, um, same concept just a little bit more a few more steps with the eldritch but either way if you do these knots go for the tommy hill figure ties because they have two different graphics or two different patterns on the thin side and the thick side and it'll be a great great addition to this your knot is the atlantic, atlantic knot um it almost looks like or it is in a way the reverse windsor so you know how you would tie a windsor knot and like that you would see the full side. Basically, this is what the back side of the Windsor knot would look like. And it's like, a, it's an inverted style of knot. There we go. Um, I actually like it. Um, I wish the knot was fuller. Maybe it's something I did wrong. Maybe I need to pull the tie up more. Um, but you'll see in the link in the video of how full the man's knot is. Um, it really fucking irritated me. It was taking me too damn long. I almost was about to be like, I'm over this fucking video because low key, I am over this because it's, it's too much like going back and forth, but whatever. 
Um, but I really like it. I think this is another conversation starter. This is another thing. If you have it in the office, you know someone knows. They're like, Ish, what's going on with your tie? Do you need to fix it? And you know, it's a great way to add a little bit of character and personality. So, so just a little recap of all the knots we did. The first knot was the Eldritch knot. The second knot was the Trinity knot. And then the third knot was the Atlantic knot. Um, the best way to utilize or get the full presentation of the knot, I would recommend that you go for Tommy Hill figure because he has the double-sided patterns um, to the knots. You know, maybe girl, if I keep saying his name, you know, he'll send me some free ties, a rep or something, you know, get a little sponsorship or something, you know, you know, whatever the case may be. But I do feel like the best way to get the presentation of the knot would to be use his ties. Um, so yeah, thank you for once again for tuning in. All the people who regularly tune in, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's get this video viral. Let's get this channel viral. The Black Book, gentlemen, stay tuned. We're gonna have more. Like, subscribe, and share this video, and thanks for your support.